When you fly on VATSIM, it's really important to communicate except for the things you don't have to say. What's up, everybody? It's Hotchmania. Today, I've got a list of things you don't have to say on VATSIM. What I mean by this are things that are just a waste of time. They're either unnecessary, irrelevant, or redundant. After all, you want to keep the comms open so that way other people can call in, especially when it's busy. But do yourself a favor, don't waste your time saying any of these things. And I want to give a big shout out to this week's video because a number of VATSIM controllers Help me out for this video. Big shout out to Arch NDA, Nomad Aviator, and Hawks1326 for helping me out with some things that basically you just don't have to say anymore. All right, starting off with number one, and that is anything after being told standby. So if air traffic control says standby, that is an indication to you to hang on a second. But you don't have to say anything back. You don't have to say, okay, standing by, or anything like that. It's unnecessary. So if air traffic control says standby, then don't say a word. What a lot of people end up doing is they'll say Roger standing by and then their call sign, which is not necessary. Basically, the person should stay quiet until called upon. Next up are the winds on takeoff. When you get clearance to take off from a runway, all you have to say is the runway you're taking off from and you're clear to take off with your call sign. You don't have to read back any of the winds or any other weather data they're giving you. That's for your information, but you don't need to read any of that back. So all you need to say is clear for takeoff runway 24 and then your call sign. Then there's the meme of with you. All right. So someone's checking in with air traffic control and they say with you. Today, Clark Lux 1424 heavy with you flight level 100 to flight level 1. The phrase with you is unnecessary. Obviously, you're with them because they can hear you on frequency. So you don't need to tell them, by the way, I'm also here. Just say what you need to say. Hey, checking in and call sign this flight level near this particular waypoint. That's it. You don't need to say with you. It's just a waste of space on the frequency. And lastly, not checking the ATIS. So basically asking a controller for what runways are active or what the frequency is unnecessary because all that information is available to you. For the frequencies, obviously in your V pilot or X pilot, whatever that sim client you use on the left-hand side, you will see all the different frequencies that are available there. If there's more than one frequency, okay, that's a different story, but in most cases, that's not the issue. And the other thing is which runway is active, what's the winds, the weather, visibility, you can get all that information from the ATIS and you don't have to listen to it. The old school way is to tune to the frequency and listen to it. But in V pilot, you can just double click the, the ATIS and all the information is presented right on the screen there for you. So there you have it. Some of the things you don't have to say on VATSIM. Don't waste your and everybody else's time saying these things. Stop it. Anyway, hope this video was helpful for you. And if you're new to VATSIM, hopefully it'll give you a little tip there on how to save precious few seconds on the frequency. This has been Hotch Mania. We'll talk again next time.